Today, Leon County released their economic forecast for the year 2023. They looked at key areas of interest, including poverty, education and jobs. The Florida Chamber of Commerce predicts that by the year 2030, Leon County will see an increase of a minimum of 20,000 residents. The Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce hosted an event discussing Florida's economic forecast and one thing was made clear, jobs will need to be in abundance. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from downtown Tallahassee. Candace, how many additional jobs will Leon County need by 2030? Ava, Leon County will need 15,000 jobs by the year 2030 in order to keep up with the expected increase in population. So we really need to do this right. We need to, we, we need to work on our schools, we need to work on our transportation, our environment, and we really need to grow private sector jobs. In an event hosted by the Tallahassee Chambers of Commerce, the Florida Chamber showcased Florida's economic forecast and revealed numbers that might shock you. By the year 2030, Leon County is expected to increase in population anywhere between 20,000 to 45,000 people, meaning more jobs will need to be created. Good economic policy that's good for everyone allows everyone to set up businesses and to succeed. And Arena, the director for the Office of Economic Vitality, Keith Bowers, says that they've already begun exploring. They currently have 14 projects already in motion that will create 1,500 jobs in the next two years. Projects such as Amazon, Danfoss, Turbocore, and Tallahassee's International Airport. We are basically taking a, um, a very... Um, uh, a strategic approach to creating the talent pipeline and making sure that we've got the jobs, we've got the people in place when the jobs are, are um, here. The projected population boom isn't helping another issue that's impacting people nationwide. That's inflation, specifically the cost of food. In Florida, food has increased more than 10% over the last year. The chamber says that trend isn't slowing down anytime soon. Lemon Drop President Bree Bennett says that this could impact their ability to help those in need with their food distribution services. Meats, eggs, dairy, um, any like on the protein side, those types of foods, they don't come in. Bennett already laying the groundwork by increasing partnerships with bigger food distribution agencies. This will play a role in how they are able to help provide to those in need. We are going to be expanding. We're going to do a much larger outreach where we're going to partner with uh, local local farm share distribution point. We're going to get fresh food, fresh vegetables. All in all, the Florida Chambers of Commerce says that the direction Leon County is headed in, that the Big Ben is headed for big things. Live in Tallahassee, I'm Candace Blake, ABC 27.